Vigo, Gwen, interesting. Tagon as well. Quite a, a weird deck. See, might be Gwen plus Halo plus Vigo equals Miss grow big, so it will grow Zolani and Tagon, and he's running generic Tagon spells. To be like. Pale Cascade and Guiding Touch. Those two cards are basically guaranteed to be in every Targon deck, I'm pretty sure. And it could also run Sambas as a good removal card. It serves as Vengeance, since it silences a unit as well. We'll see. Probably keep one and Devon Sculpture as well to grant all my units plus one health, because why not? That's my fortune, so one, two, three seems so pretty good. That's fine as well. I can easily just block that, right? He might have Soul Harvest and Quite to deal with this, but most of the time he should not have it. Because like come on. He don't have it. He won't have it. I'll block okay, why not? Actually maybe that was a misplay You might have the two cost two two that that's fine. You might have the two cost two two that summons uh ephemeral two one that gives Halo as well. If I was trying to play around that, I should not block that, I should preserve that unit. But since he didn't have it, it's all good. Play here most likely is good to go tracker Mirai Warden into Misfortune next turn. Hate spy and so harvish again. Uh, things I could remove misfortune but hope for the best for now. I could also go 3-4 because it will grant the 1 health and the tracker and the misfortune. I think I'd rather go for that right. Big unit seems fine. Sure. Since he has 3 attack as well he might play Gwen for 4 and that might be pretty good. That does make a good trade against a 3 tree, so that's pretty nice. Yep it's definitely a Zolani deck. He's just playing Halo, so buff up the units, and when his unit dies, and also the encroaching mist when they die, when they get plus one plus one, it also grows Solani because they are buff units. So this might be a problem if I go late game because I won't be able no to deal with Solani. No My deck is basically mid range. There's no way I have an answer to kill Solani. I should probably attack like this. If I block like this, and I use to block and then go Pioca skin or hate spike. So this seems fine. I'm killing the 3 1, helping this one to level and dealing 3 damage here. Seems pretty good. You might play Gwen here now. Black Spear, wow. That is annoying. I don't have any fast spells in my hand, sadly. Next turn, I could go for this. Or I could go Mariah Warden and enter Champion Strength on turn 6. That is interesting. But I think I'd rather just go for this at this point, right? That is interesting. He's gonna get a 4 drop. Is that actually any good 4 drop cards you could potentially get? I'm not quite sure. I think I'd rather go Sculpture into Mariah Ward into for the Mars here. I think that's way better than just going for the Fire Drop, right? It's a bit of a mulligan because it might miss and might not get me something good. That's why I'm not trying to go for it. This seems fine. Um, this is now gonna get evolved, but that's cute. So you'll get a 4 cost card, what it is? It's most like- oh Gwen! Oh yeah, that makes sense. I guess I will just go for the Mars here, here grant everyone plus- uh, give everyone plus 3 plus 3 for this round. Push for extra damage. He might play Diego here, but that's just fine. That's only one blocker, honestly. Oh, that's annoying. That's two blockers. But that should be a okay since I am at least pushing that. I'm always gonna keep going here. I will attack, 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 and put the two most best units at the back so I can sneak in damage. That's fine. Sure. He might have Black Spear again. If he has Black Spear, then he might be able to kill the Sculpture actually. But at least I'm still trying to do damage here, so this is pretty good. On my next attack, I could do Champion Strength, and that's insane. He could have Black Spear to kill the Fire Tree. Or he might just play another unit, so oh, he does have Black Spear, that's fine. I think I'll resolve this, and I won't play Shellfucker, because if he kills another unit, I'll just play the Fire Drop and get another unit from the top card on my deck. Might even get Misfortune if I'm not doing that's fine. I'm most likely just passing here. He's gonna kill that and get a rekindle, isn't he? He is, okay. That's annoying, but should be a okay. So he gets back Diego. I could play Broadwing into Champion Strength, which I do have mana for. I think I'll gladly go for that. It has 4 health, so you'll get 4 more health from Champion Strength, so that's gonna be an 8 8 stat line. This is gonna be a 6 6 stat line. With Scout, by the way. Oh, wow. Interesting. So I guess I'll just go Champion Strength here before he plays any of his slow speed spells like Quiders and Soul Harvest. So this should be pretty good. This is 4 out of 6. That's cute. Um, What could this be? Yeah, he's done. If I attack, I just he only has 3 blockers. I have 6 units. I would've just won there. So yeah, he's good. Champion Strength and Fall Demacia. Right? Just carry that. Jace Noctus. 
Is there any good six loss cows to duplicate it in Noxus? I'm not quite sure. I think I might quit keep Quinn here. I mean he might just be a control deck, honestly. He's running okay, Pewter over Noxus, like what do you think? Either this aggro the crap out of you or this control. But he's playing in Jace, so I'm guessing control. There's no way he's an aggro deck while running in Jace. If you're not aggro deck, why not just run any instead of Jace? It's a 4 4, come on. Might honestly keep Quinn. There's an argument to be said to Morgan her, but since I haven't really been able to play her, why not? I mean, 1 2 3 is Juicy Curve. Another Quinn? Meh, why not? It's in Tomb here as well. What 1 drop would he have? Does he have a 1 drop? Okay. I guess he's gonna pass turn 1 turn 2 into something on turn 3. We'll see what happens. I don't think there's any 6 or spell that's worth duplicating with Jace on Noxus, right? That's fine. I'm gonna play what I wanted. Oh my god. <laughs> Another Shell Shocker? Sure, why not? Now I have 4 map mana basically. I'm gonna queue that immediately, cause why not? I play Miss. I might play Misfortune, but if he has Shock Blast, he does remove a 2 1 and a 3 3. Hmm. I think I go for a right. I do have a second one to play next turn. If he does go for Shock Blast here. If he doesn't go for Shock Blast. Oh, he goes for that unit. Wow. I think I'm cool with that, right? Because like. I mean, I'm gonna take 6 damage next turn, but that should be okay. I don't really mind. Since uh, my whole deck, I don't really care about my Nexus health. I'm just caring about solving the board and overwhelming him with wider board than him. He might play Jace to pull Misfortune though. If he does go for that, I have. Ooh, fair enough finance here? Yeah, okay. Looking for a 6 cost card to play next turn, basically, huh? He's not in Noxus, so he can't look for like instant kill spells like Vengeance and stuff like that. All the sand now can just that kills a unit and clear kills a unit and reduces everyone's attack by two power. You can't go for those spells basically. It's pretty rough that I'm passing here, but I think I'll go for it. Why not? I'm always gonna play Quinn here because that allows me to pull the chicks three away. He needs to deal with a uh, Valor basically because Valor is just that good. He can just pull the six three and it will just kill it off because the misfortune would also you know activate his ability to deal one damage to all enemies. So let's see what 6 cost spell he plays here. If he kills Valor, there's an argument to be said to play the Queen Champion spell. So I can just get another Valor and the Valor will pull the 6 tree. Like he does Mystic Shot here, indeed. Because if I go for this, I mean he could have another Mystic Shot? That could be an argument to be said about that. I think I'd rather just attack with Queen. If Queen dies here, I have another Queen, so that should be A-OK. -okay. Yep, he always blocks with the 6 tree, that's fine by me. I think I'd rather save this Quinn instead of just playing the champion spell because he might have again Mystic Shot or High Note. Or look or just use Time Trick to look for those spells either way, so I guess that was a safer play there. But this card doesn't play it apparently. I'm always gonna attack with Misfortune as well because it used to 1 damage, so even if he blocks like this, I'm technically pushing for 4 damage here. So, that's really good. so Misfortune is almost leveled here, she is 3 out of 4. Pretty good. Basically on my next attack she flip. These cards are fine, but not that good for now. Oh! He's playing Noxus because he wants to duplicate these cards for Jace, huh? That's a cool idea, I guess. Think I will just play Quinn here into this next turn. That's just too good, to be honest, I'm pretty sure at least. Even if, if, if he attacks, I could just tank it right on the There's no need to block, right? I, actually, I could block now because now these two go to the two health. They just die the Misfortune's ability because now Misfortune will just flip and deals 3 damage to all enemies. Yeah, that's actually not that bad. If if I'm actually going for that, I might attack first before he before he plays a card, right? Because now I can attack with the scout first and now Misfortune will flip. Because he might, if I develop, he might actually have a remove for Misfortune. So I should attack like this for level Misfortune first of all. So if he does remove the level 2 misfortune, I could just replay the second misfortune for my hand and that should be fine. All eyes on me. So misfortune's flip now, pretty good. Due 3 damage to the whole board, so Valor is again gonna be alive to pull another unit for free, basically the fire tree. And if he blocks with this fire tree, he uh, a fire 2, he'll just die again. So that's pretty good value. Jace is level, but I don't think I really care about him at this point. I'm basically trying to kill him this time. Yep, he does have a removal for Misfortune. So now Misfortune is flipped, right? I can just play the second copy and that should be dead. 
Yeah, he only has one blocker as well. This is most likely just GG at this point. That's alright. So if I play... Um, I'll just play this. This is a really decent play as well because it does this grand every one plus two attack, a plus one plus one. But I think just playing this one, why not? She itself also has all realms, so this is always just GG at this point. So misfortune. Attack with the two birds. Two birds are full damage last, and I'll be able to push for four, eight. I'll be able to push for eleven damage. That's the GG. Good game. There's an interesting deck though. He's, that he's going for. Timo. Okay, I hate this deck. Timo is an annoying uh, card to to be said. This seems like a pretty good hand though. I mean, one, two, three. Let's go. I'm more looking at this because there's no reason to keep a spell. You always look for units. Spell would you would like to draw into spell. You would never like to keep. So misfortunes here as well. So that's really good. Doesn't have a pink spell for birds, so you use the two damage. He might play Hemo now. Basically, if he does have it, doesn't have it. Let's go. I have another challenger unit, so if he does remove the two one, I do have a three three pull of the Kimo here. So this is pretty good board wise. I think I always play misfortune on turn three, so I can try to level her. Playing you seems fine. There's no reason to this way. Because if I play this turn four, I play you. I play for the Marcia turn. No way, I won't have to spell mana because I didn't play shell shocker. Turn 5 will be my attack token as well. So I think I'd rather play Misfortune here. Into the 4 drop next turn, into the 5 drop on turn 5, and then just attack with my scout unit as well. Time trick, there's no Q spells in uh, Piltover and Bandle City. That has 2 mana to kill Misfortune here, so that's fine. I think I'll gladly just attack like this and just use my 2 birds to pull both of these units since I have more challenger units coming up on turn 4 and turn 5. This might high roll into a good one for the manager. If not, that's fine. It, it at least gives me a unit of scout. If not, I could just be relying on the valor that Quinn is most likely gonna give me, right? This is fine. I could go you into champion strength next time, but I think I'd rather build up a wider board since I have board space for. That's pretty good actually, to be honest. Um, I don't care, so. I'll gladly take the full damage for now and just, you know, pull that unit and sneak in a bunch of scout damage basically. So Quinn here is Nothing insanely good. It's a 3-5, survives the 4-4. Four, four. If he decides to most it. likely ping the 2-1. Oh, that's a llama, okay. This is annoying, but I might be honestly be able to apply as much pressure as possible to actually shuffle enough puff caps into his deck that might actually kill him, to be honest. So let's try to go for that. This will put out Chubwap and one health, so I'll be most likely attacking with all my units because Chubwap will just get sniped by the misfortune ability if he ever tries to block with Chubwap here. So this is basically three puff caps into his deck because yeah, this unit dies instantly, so he needs to block the queen and I'll be shuffling with more puff caps. He haven't really been shuffling puff caps in my deck. He's been looking for his key cards with time trick and draw basically. He does have a lot of mushroom clouds, so. He could go Peddler into those Mushroom Clouds in the Teemo, which would be annoying. I don't have a Q spells for Teemo just yet. Oh, wow. Another Queen. Ooh. There's no way that that's what you're going for, right? I'm pretty sure you're dead at this point. Um, Let's go Mirai Warden here into Champion's Rank next turn. I know I don't heal him, duh. I did with this freaking Lama. I have no Lama removing Fuge Water and the mouse as well that are pretty good. So I go for champion strike here. Plan here is basically to outpace him with the puff cap. I know this doesn't win the game. But I'm just trying to do this so I can push as much damage as possible. Time trick here, sure. He might look for double mystic shot into killing misfortune. Because he can't go for aftershock. Aftershock is slow speed even though it does do 3 damage. So time trick again, wow. He's not he's only down to 3 mana now. He can't do crap with the 3 mana I'm pretty sure. Mystic shot, okay. So that's smart, he's just killing off the 1-1 one -one because I'm always gonna- I would want to actually save that because it would become a 5-5 five -five and I could put the 4-4 four -four and kill it off, but since if he's planning to go for this play, I should just attack like this, level misfortune up. That's Captain Fortune. <laughs> so yeah, I think he's dead, right? Because Quinn would also level and Quinn would just summon out Valor and Valor would just pull a 4-4 four -four and he's killing that's that unit off with the misfortune ability Captain. as well and that's his game. Nah, Nico. Hey, I'm quite fast, and he's quite slow as well. But if he 
able to catch up, he might be able to win the game. Champion Strength is a good card, Formula is a good card, but I think at this matchup, I think I should rather Morgan into units, right? I'm pretty sure, because he's also gonna play units. His hand seems pretty mediocre. It's not that mediocre now. I mean, we'd like to have a 3 drop on turn 3, would be great. Misfortune? No. It will turn 1. At least I can still play. That's annoying. It might be honestly be Nico, but it should be okay. I'll just play in the Rauch Culture. Turn 3 most likely is uh, tracker into the Mirai Warden. But I won't be able to tap because the dog away is actually a 2 3 stat line, so I don't make good trades whatsoever. Misfortune. It might be insane. It's 3 4 stat line. In his region, there's no cast that buff attack. He's in Frau Yot, so the only spells he has access to is basically Frostbite, so this is basically a free misfortune attack here. Yep, pretty good. He doesn't have 3 sister in the field to north because he doesn't have exactly enough mana for that, so that's pretty good. I also have form up in future turns if I want to protect her, maybe he might run like Tracker itself because it is a bird. Nico does allow him to run out of sub -like cards. That is annoying and that will be a problem, so I need to remove that immediately. I think for now I should just be able to play this because it has scout. Oh my god, that's insane. Sure, why not? Why not get a 2 2 tracker? We have scout. Play here. I could attack first. I could always just pull that in the future turns. There's no rush, basically. Because I will be having attack token. I'm basically attacking, not allowing him to develop any units. I also have Broadwing into tracker again. And I will have one more, uh, two more spell mana. Two more mana to basically go form up here. That's fine. This basically kills that because this will grow by plus one health, so you got buffed by the sculpture. And now I play another tracker, you could have challenger. And I'm basically killing two birds with just two birds. <laughs> killing two birds with one stone. Eh, I rather kill two birds with two birds. Where's my hammer? So this is pretty good. I'm allowing myself to attack, killing two of his most important units. This allows him to discount cards and this allows him to push for damage. This should be a okay. This is pretty good value to be honest. And I still have form up to somehow buff form, uh, Misfortune Love up you. if I actually want to. Misfortune is 3 out of 4 as well, so she'll be able to flip sooner or later. This on my turn 7 when I'm attacking is insane as well. I um, think I'll pass it. I could play Morale Warden, but there's no need to just yet. Again, he um, he's basically needs to play units before I play units, because if he don't play any units, he just dies. He runs this card some some reason, that's fine. I think I'll play Morai Warden because it's always gonna attack with oh, like <laughs> bonus. I get the buff to my deck, that's insane. That's cute, honestly. Sure. I think I should just play Broadwing here and I should be able to win the game. Because number one, Broadwing won't be able to be frostbited. He needs to entombment, he needs to waste more mana just to deal with this unit. That's a really insanely good buff that could hit from the Omen Hawk there, and this should be game, most likely. Misfortune levels here, so yeah, that's basically 3 3 damage from the steel. And even if the skill somehow doesn't work, I don't really care because the Broadwing itself deals 4 damage. He needs to entomb this and he needs to deal with a skill and a misfortune and Rai Warden, a scout unit. That's not good. Not enough. Because if he does that, that means he can't go 3 sister into entomb the Broadwing and Broadwing just deals 4 damage. And that's just lethal. Misfortune also does, you know, deals 3 damage to Nexus and units as well. So yeah, GG. I just overwhelm him before he kills me with his white ball from the Nico buff right so yeah, PG. Senna Venga, okay. So he's playing a darkness deck. This might be a bit rough because he's gonna control me really well. This might be a keep honestly just so I can fight back on board with two extra units but I think I'd rather full mulligan. The Mirai Warden and the Fire Drop to look for better units. Like this on turn 3 is really good. Tracker seems fine into Mirai Warden because he might play the 3 cost 2 1. Another Mirai Warden? Sure. He might have quite access to Quieter's Hate Spike, so Harvest, those cheap spells that are really annoying. Octopus, he runs that card. I don't think you ever would run Octopus, why? I'm never gonna block that, sure. I'll pass here. Um. Oh wow, of course, both are grant 1 attack. I uh, grant 1 cost. I think that's actually better, right? Because if he actually reduces it, then. Uh, Reduce it by 2 attack, that's even worse. That means I can't even play the Mariah Warden, right? That's actually probably the best card I could have gotten, gotten there because it now has tough, so you could actually make a good trinket against the Octopus. I'm guessing he's gonna quiet this, this huh? Quietus the 2 1. Hmm, okay. 
I can't attack like this now. He can't make a good trade. He's gonna take the one damage free now. Now I basically have a unit to block the octopus forever. That's really good of a draw. I think I'm play this then I play this next turn, right? Because I don't really have a turn four play just yet. I'd rather play this right, into the tree four. It's a tree four basically. Unless he removes this. He wow, he runs crumble. So I guess he runs Octopus, so he could have a cheap unit to play, and then use Q spells like Crumble and Hate Spike. Organs Beyond, most likely, huh? Really weird deck I seeing right now. I think I will just play this. You might play Venga. Venga is a 1-4, so this is technically true. A 3-3. Three, three. This is 6 damage for free. Oh, okay. It doesn't have anything. Oh, it's not gonna- He's saving Spellmana. He might go Senna here, maybe? Into Darkness, potentially? That's really good on turn uh, 6, basically when I'm attacking. This will fall the Marcia next turn. Both are good in general. You see, I'm hey, sure, in Tomb as well. I can actually go Champion Strength next turn now. Oh my god, of course he hits Champion Strength then. Sure, that is annoying but it happens sometimes. I think next turn I honestly play this one, right? Oh. Now I do not need to worry about a Ruin Nation, so that's actually really good. Because I kind of worry was about was a ruination if I play the unit or the for the Marcia, but now if he plays that, that means he can't go ruination. The only big spells he could go for is vengeance, and if he does go for that, you know he's only killing one unit, and I'm buffing like six units, five plus three plus three, so this should be a okay to do. I could develop this next turn, maybe go into another unit, develop as well. That'd be pretty good. If not, I'm most likely passing to play you. That's a bit too late at this point because I'm basically playing Senna for free with the four four, uh, the four five four bro uh tracker. This should be game. Yeah, GG. Wow. He just somehow think that using a six or spell to kill uh three three was good value there. While I have four the mass here for the next turn. Hmm, sure. Yes, this game. GG. Overwhelm him before the mass here.